Welcome to Vermont, and today we're going to get started in covering the shopping malls that they have to offer. I thought we would go and start strong with the Berlin Mall, a quiet mall serving a number of provinces around the capital of Montpelier. In the late 70s, Juster Associates, based out of Yonkers, New York, had aimed to construct a new shopping mall across the street of the Central Vermont Hospital. It is worth mentioning that at the time, several developers were looking to break into Vermont with premier shopping destinations. Developers based out of Ohio and Vermont were looking to build on the same property as Juster Associates, and Pyramid was looking to build a mega mall further up the freeway. All, however, would get tied up in red tape, battling against Act 250, the Land and Development Law. Pyramid's venture was denied under Act 250, despite appeals in 1980, while Juster Associates continued on through. I'll go over the disputes the Berlin Mall had just to open. Environmental concerns, a petition calling to restrict the mall's access to Route 62, propaganda that the mall would kill us all economically, and competition with the city center building in downtown Montpelier. It wouldn't be until over five years later when construction on the mall would finally begin. And eventually, in September 1986, the Berlin Mall would open officially featuring JCPenney and Riches, while a rare Magrum store operated a junior anchor in the middle. Berlin Mall would come to be accepted by the community shortly after opening and would live a modest life. However, Magrams would close quickly, going out of business in 1990. Joanne Fabric and Crafts, however, would jump for the space and fill it in. Meanwhile, Riches would shut its doors, but Walmart would come in to fill the void left behind by them. Although Walmart was not an ideal anchor for any mall, this at least kept the mall a viable location. And even today, the Walmart still hosts mall access albeit with an awkward side passage you might be able to see. It wouldn't be until the 2010s when we would begin to see more problems emerge with the mall's tenants. Walmart was growing and would proceed to cannibalize mall space to become a super center after receiving approval under Act 250. In 2016, Kohl's would open up an out parcel space eating into the J.C. Penney and creating redundancy. Joanne Fabric and Crafts would proceed to close its location, but the space would be filled back in by a Planet Fitness in January 2018. And finally, 2020 happened. <sighs> and this would take J.C. Penney out of the picture, as well as Bath & Body Works. The interior would also become more and more sparse. Despite this, however, the mall continues on with Planet Fitness, Walmart, GNC, a built-in drive through bank, GameStop, and a couple eateries. It appears that the Berlin Mall may still have some life left, for now at least. It all comes down to what the current owners, Heidenberg Properties, have in their plans. I will say, we are already almost through with the tour, but what do I think about this mall? I found it very cute, between the pastel shades on the floor as well as the wood truss ceilings up high. Even if the mall was already behind the curve when opening, I still enjoy finding old time properties like these. It's just a shame that this mall is starting to have a shaky future, and we'll have to wait and see if the people of Vermont want to keep it. 
but I can't imagine this mall lasting for much longer. Oh yeah, and I managed to get footage of J.C. Penny on its way out last year. Ta-da! If you're wondering how I got that footage, it was simply being in Vermont last year. I initially intended to conquer Vermont last year, but something happened. I don't know if it was burnout, or fear, or whatever, but I just did not feel like doing anything that weekend. Nonetheless, I didn't want to give up, and I came back to do it properly this time. Stay tuned for more, everyone. Thanks for having me, Berlin and Montpelier. And until next time, this is Doomy Grunt wishing you and the Berlin Mall farewell and good luck.